in today's video I'm going to share some of the regrets that I wish things that I wish I hadn't done or had done when I started my career. I have been working in tech for about nine years specifically in the data science domain and um, I wanted to share some of my learnings uh, of things that I wish somebody had told me or wish I had done differently so you can like take away from it especially if you're starting out in the industry. The first thing, the first thing, the first thing that I have so much regret about when I started making money, I did not know how to manage my tech salary. I was making a lot of money and I don't come from a background, like I don't come from a wealthy family and it wasn't like, I wasn't like educated on managing my money and personal finances. So the only thing that I knew was like savings. So when I started earning, earning money and I got my first paycheck, I basically put it all in the bank. Everything I earned went into the bank for seven years, I believe. Yeah, first seven years of my tech salary went into the bank. I never even looked into 401k account or any of sort of retirement account because somebody, I don't know who it was, somebody mentioned to me that retirement accounts are scams, so I didn't even bother looking into it and I didn't opt into any of the retirement plan that my company offered. They were offering like the match, which is the 50% of the match and I did not opt into that. So I lost money because of that. And I basically kept all of it as cash in my bank account. My bank account people treated me so nicely and I always wondered why. That's because I was hoarding a lot of money <laughs> in the bank account. And I wish, I wish, I wish I had started my financial literacy journey early, which I did like after seven years of working and I regret it because I lost a lot of time in the market. If I had invested, my money had grown so much, but it, instead I, I lost due to inflation and so I actually took a pay cut <laughs> by not investing the properly and not educating myself on finances. So that's like my biggest regret. I don't think there's anything I can do about it other than catch up and uh, basically do things that are right for my future. And um, now I do actually very well, very good job of managing my tech salary. Maybe I'll do a different video in, and talk about like where, uh, how I kind of like split my paycheck and where it goes. Let me know if you're interested. I'll definitely do another video on this topic. If you were getting into the industry and you're starting to earn your money, getting your paycheck, make sure you're educating yourself on personal finance. Please, 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 please don't make the mistake that I made because I'll always regret it, always. The second thing that I wish I had done differently in my career was change companies sooner rather than later. At my last company, again, like the seven year number is kind of like <laughs> somewhat related to my Everything is like seven years. So I worked at my last company seven years. Made a lot of mistakes. I guess like you do a lot of, make a lot of mistakes on your first job, which is fine. So I ended up staying a little too long than I should have. And even at the point where I stopped learning, I did not leave. And I think that was a mistake because as soon as I stopped learning my, so basically when you initially like work on a project or a team or a company, your learning curves go like this and then eventually it flattens and flattens and then it just stays flat, right? So for me, I was at that company for about seven years, two different teams, and I ended up staying there a little too long than I should have. I think the ideal time would have been like four to five years and after that I should have just uh, left that company and join another one which when i ended up doing that i actually realized that how important having an industry experience beyond one company is because when you experience a different company a different culture you actually learn about things about yourself you learn things that you enjoy you learn what kind of culture you like you learn what kind of work environment you like you learn what kind of like work style you like and say if you're joining a different industry so I when I switched I actually switched to a different domain altogether so like I got to learn a lot of new things when I switched so it's like my first regret is definitely bigger <laughs> than this one I was like still getting paid for even though I ended up staying seven years my composition did take a hit after four years because like if you know how tech companies work there's like equity that the new higher equity that kind of west after four years so my composition did take a hit um, and my learning curve did go down so I wish I had left I'd look for another job sooner rather than waiting around. So let's say if you have been at a company and you're trying to figure out if it's the right thing to do or not, I think for me, like personally, and there are two components that I would look into. One is obviously like the money, if you're making good money. And if you're at a company like where I was, where your composition takes a hit, then you have to kind of like evaluate what's good for you financially. 
The second is your learning. Learning is very, very important, and especially working in tech, the learning, learning never stops. So as soon as you see that learning has taken kind of like, if your learning has flattened, or so you're not learning a lot, then this is obviously a sign to kind of consider switching. And like, these are like healthy things that I mentioned, like there could be also be toxic things, like you are in a toxic environment and you don't get along with your boss and like things like that. But like, these are the two things that I would like mention here. So the, another thing that I kind of regret and I'm gonna say it and um, I'll see how I feel about it. I volunteered when I was new in my career, I volunteered for a lot of extracurricular activities. Um, I call it office housework. That would mean I would get involved with like specific organizations within the company and volunteer my time there. Or like if my team is organizing a happy hour, like I'll volunteer to organize it. Um, and things like that, that I raised my hand and it took my time. And I don't know if I was doing that unconsciously because that's what like at home, like I'm in charge of all of these things so like unconsciously like my brain went to like yes I want to do that and like don't get me wrong I actually enjoyed doing all of those things but it actually took time away from my actual work and I learned it the hard way that no matter how many activities that you do outside of your actual job it's not gonna matter if you are not a rock star on your actual job and your performance review, all those extra activities are not gonna hold much weight. It's actually your actual work. So it all comes back to like, for me, like working smart, right? If I'm taking my, if I'm taking time away, especially like if you're taking your time away and I, there were times when I actually took time away to volunteer for things, wish I hadn't done that because that took time away from my actual work and for my peers those those that were not doing that they were actually doing an extra project instead of doing the extracurricular activities which i was doing and at the end of the review if somebody has done extra project and done above and beyond like they have one more data point to talk about their performance and like the manager loves them too because they're able to like deliver a lot <laughs> then versus um somebody who is like doing other things um and even though like it gave me access like there were like obviously some positives i really enjoyed it it gave me access to a lot of like senior leaders. Um, it also like expanded my network. So I'm not saying don't do it, uh, don't do it, but like don't overdo it. Like be very strategic and be very smart about where you're gonna use your time. So now like I've learned uh, from that experience, I've learned that I'm very mindful in terms of how I use my time and where I invest it. And I know this is gonna sound very, very bad, but I also like think about how is it gonna look my on my performance review at the end of the year. It serves as a guide in a way, which I know is bad, but at the end of the day, your work is paying you to work, right? So you wanna make sure that you're actually excelling at your day job, at your core job, and then the rest of the things are just extra. And that's how they're gonna look to other people as well. They're gonna look as extra. So yeah, I, those are the three things that I wish I had done differently. I'd love to know what are some of the things that you wish you had known in your career. So let me know in the comments if you have any experience of things that you had done in your career that you wish had done differently. Any of the things that I mentioned, do they resonate with you? Especially the money part, because I know it's not taught financial education, personal finance is not taught in a lot of households and not even in school. With that, I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you in another video. Bye. Am I twisted? Am I tilted? Go oh, there. Okay. All right. So one, one, one. So when I started, um, uh, so if you were like, <laughs> They just spit on my camera. I'm sorry. Apparently, the last company. What is the word? I can't figure it out. One eternity later. So.